Hi, and welcome to this tutorial for Sinalera CV. Um, I'm going to try and show you how to use the histogram effect to do some basic color correction. Uh, the histogram effect looks very complicated, and you can get very complicated with it, and even I'm terrible at doing that, but you can do basic stuff very easily, and it's very useful. I picked this clip because there's a lot of gray, but not a lot of clear black or white. There's a lot of blue in the background, but a lot of red blood on his face that's also quite dark. So I'll show you what we can do with that. So first let's drop the histogram on. Uh, it's at the default state at the moment. Now at the top here you've got value, red, green and blue. Uh, we're going to ignore the red, green and blue for a moment and we're just going to stick with the value. Value is just straight up light and dark. Now as soon as I actually click here or anything, as you'll see, um, we will see that we get this, this map of, of, of pixels which, which looks very confusing and is. This red line means black, complete black, and this red line means complete white. And as you can see, this graph here shows you how much is represented in the picture, in, in this picture. And as you can see, there is no complete black. It starts at very dark grey, because there's nothing here. So let's click on the green line to create a point and drag it down. And immediately you can see that the black has become true black. Similarly, with the white, let's create a point and drag it up. And how much you want to drag it up some, on each end is, is up to you, but just go with something that looks good. You don't want it to be oversaturated, but it's brightened. Now with this split output here, you can just see the top half. It's, it's a subtle difference, but if I do that a couple of times, you can see... I don't know if it'll come through on YouTube, but trust me, there's a difference there. Um, and of course, you can also affect the midtones, um, which is basically just the middle. You can make it darker or lighter. You know, it, it can get oversaturated or, or, or not. And, it's very sensitive, so I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't mess too much with it, but, you know, it's always worth a, worth a go. Uh, so let's just reset that. So some basic color corrections just to pull those up and down like that. Um, and as you can see, sometimes you see that there are dips, so there's some very darkness here when you might not expect it. That might be a good place to see what happens if you brighten it to see if you did want to play with the midtones but that's getting a little more complicated. With regards to red, green, and blue, it's exactly the same thing. As you can see, there's an awful lot of dark, darker red here because the blood's dark, but there's not much light red. So you don't want to do too much with it because you start to affect and give a red overlay to the entire picture if you do that. See, I'm making his skin red. That's why it's difficult. So obviously that's a bad idea. And similarly, if I make this dark, then the actual red of the blood starts going towards black. But, if you did want the blood to be just a little bit brighter, just go for something in the middle and lift it slightly. You see? Uh, meanwhile, the blue is more of a background thing, so you see it looks it looks a lot more like, like the light and dark. And again, y you can manipulate it the same way. But the basic thing to remember is that when you're talking about the value, it's good to pull down the ends and push up the other end because that affects the overall picture and makes it crisper. When you're dealing with an individual colour, play more with the mid-tones because if you play with either end you tend to end up washing out the entire thing or, or, or making things that shouldn't be that colour more that colour because they, they don't exist in the, you know. For example, if I do this I make his skin very red um, and if I do this I make his blood very black and I, I wash out his skin. So playing with the colours is is more something you should you should wait and see about. But overall, if I darken that, brighten that, and then I give the red just a little bit of a of a boost there. That's a a nice difference. As you can see you've got much crisper colour. And it looks pretty good I think. So I, I hope that was useful and not confusing. Thanks for watching.